Welcome back to Z Coins. Did you know that a simple 2001 P Washington quarter, yes, the one you might find jingling in your pocket or coin jar, could be worth a jaw dropping $8.1 million? In today's video, we're diving deep into the fascinating story behind this coin, its potential value, and why collectors are willing to pay big bucks for it. Let's get started. First, a little history. The 2001 P. Washington Quarter was part of the ongoing state quarters program introduced by the United States Mint. In 2001, the Philadelphia Mint, indicated by the P. Mint mark, produced millions of these quarters, featuring designs celebrating five states, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Kentucky. So, what's driving the astronomical price tag of $8.1 million dollars for a single 2001 P quarter. It all boils down to rarity and condition. Here are the key factors. Minting errors. Certain quarters were struck with minting errors that make them exceptionally rare. These can include double strikes, off-center strikes, or die cracks. One famous error is the dropped letter variety, where part of the design was not fully imprinted on the coin. Unique characteristics. Some quarters have misaligned dies, creating a shadowy or ghost appearance on George Washington's profile or the reverse design. These anomalies drive up collector interest, proof and high-grade coins. Coins graded MS-68 or higher by professional grading companies, like PCGS or NGC, fetch top dollar. Why? Because even the tiniest scratch can drop a coin's grade making high-grade quarters extremely rare. Now let's talk about the $8.1 million valuation. This eye-popping figure is based on the sale of a unique specimen, a 2001 P. Washington quarter with a flawless error that was preserved in pristine condition. Its incredible rarity and historical significance made it a must-have for collectors, driving the price to astronomical levels at auction. Wondering if you might have a fortune hidden in your pocket change. Here's what to look for in a 2001 P. Washington quarter. Check for mint errors. Look for unusual patterns, missing details, or off-center designs. Use a magnifying glass or microscope to examine your coins closely. Inspect the condition. Coins with no scratches, dents, or signs of wear are more valuable. If you think your coin is in mint state, Consider having it professionally graded. Look for unique varieties. Some errors are so subtle they can only be detected by experts. A professional appraisal can help identify rare features. While not every 2001 P. Washington quarter is worth millions, even lesser-known varieties and high-grade examples can still fetch thousands of dollars. Current market prices for rare 2000 and 1P quarters range from $500 to several hundred thousand dollars, depending on their grade and rarity. If you think you've struck gold with a 2001 P Washington quarter, here's what you can do. Get it graded. Have your coin evaluated by Peace GS or NGC for an official grade and certificate of authenticity. Consult a professional dealer. Reach out to reputable coin dealers for an appraisal. They can guide you on the best way to sell. Sell through auctions. Consider listing your coin at a high-profile auction house like Heritage Auctions. This is where the big money collectors shop. So there you have it. The humble 2001 P. Washington quarter might just be your ticket to a life-changing payday. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just someone curious about coins, keep an eye out because treasures are hiding in plain sight. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about rare coins worth big money, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments. Have you ever found a valuable coin in your collection? See you next time, where we unlock the hidden treasures in your pocket change. Today, we're diving into a jaw-dropping story that's going to leave coin collectors and enthusiasts stunned. Could a simple 2002 P. Washington quarter really be worth a staggering $8.2 million? Believe it or not, the answer is yes. 
grab your magnifying glass, and let's uncover the fascinating details about this valuable piece of history. Before you run to your coin jar, let me tell you the incredible tale behind this legendary coin. The Washington Quarter has been a staple of U.S. currency since 1932, featuring the iconic profile of George Washington on the obverse. In 2002, the U.S. Mint released the P-Mint marked quarters from its Philadelphia Mint. These were part of the state quarters program, celebrating each state with unique designs on the reverse. So what makes the 2002 P quarter so special? After all, millions were produced. The answer lies in a rare minting error, a twist of fate that turned a simple coin into a multi-million dollar treasure. In the minting process, small errors can occur, but most are caught before the coins are distributed. In 2002, a few Philadelphia minted quarters left the facility with an extraordinary error that no one noticed at first. The specific error? Double die strikes, an off-center minting, and a unique anomaly in the lettering of E Pluribus Unum. This combination created one of the rarest coins in modern numismatic history. Additionally, the coin was struck on a rare, experimental planchet, a metal blank that's different from the usual copper-nickel alloy. Fast forward to today. A single 2002 P quarter with this exact error was discovered and authenticated by top grading companies. It became the centerpiece of a bidding war among collectors, eventually selling for a jaw-dropping $8.2 million at auction. Why so much? It's all about rarity and demand. There's only one known example of this coin in existence. For collectors, Owning a one-of-a-kind piece is like holding a golden ticket to numismatic fame. Now, you're probably wondering, could I have one of these rare quarters? Here's what to look for. Mint mark. Look for the P mark under in God we trust. Double die error. Check the lettering, especially E pluribus unum and the numbers in the date. Planchet material. The coin might feel lighter or heavier than a normal quarter. Host showing tools like a scale and magnifying glass. Using tools like a digital scale or a jeweler's loop can help you spot these features. Let's talk market value. The original 2002 P error coin sold for $8.2 million, but even coins with lesser errors from this year can fetch thousands of dollars. Standard 2002 P quarters without errors are worth 25 cents, but keep an eye out for unique variations. For instance, coins graded MS65 or higher can sell for hundreds, while a verified error coin could go for millions. The key is authentication. If you think you've found a 2002 P error quarter, your next step is authentication. Trusted organizations like PCGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, or NGC, Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, can evaluate your coin for a small fee. Once graded, you'll receive a certificate verifying its authenticity and value, which is crucial for selling it at auction. Who knew a simple quarter could be worth so much? Whether you're a seasoned collector or just someone curious about the coins in your pocket, this is proof that treasures can be hiding in plain sight. Have you checked your coins lately? Let me know in the comments if you've come across any rare finds. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest coin treasures. Until next time, keep hunting and happy collecting. Your go-to spot for all things coins, collectibles, and hidden treasures. Today, we're diving into one of the most intriguing stories in the world of coin collecting. The 2003 P. Washington quarter dollar that's making headlines for its jaw-dropping market value of $8.30 million. That's right, this unassuming coin could be worth a fortune. So, could you have one sitting in your change jar? Let's find out. First things first, let's talk about what makes the 2003 P. Washington quarter special. This quarter was minted at the Philadelphia Mint in 2003 as part of the 50-state quarters program. The design on the back featured a different state for each quarter released that year, 
while the obverse retained the classic portrait of George Washington. The PUC here indicates that it was minted in Philadelphia. Over 682 million quarters with this mint mark were produced, making it seem like a pretty common coin. But there's more to the story. So why is this particular coin valued at a staggering $8.3 million? Let me break it down for you. The massive value comes from a combination of factors, a unique minting error, unbelievable rarity, and its appeal to serious coin collectors. Some of these 2,003 peak quarters were struck with an ultra-rare minting error. This could include things like double die errors, off-center strikes, or improper metal compositions. These errors make the coin one-of-a-kind and highly collectible. Coins in mint state, MS-68 or higher, condition are incredibly rare. If your coin is free of scratches, smudges, or wear and tear, you're looking at an even bigger payday. The specific coin we're talking about fetched $8.3 million at auction because it was authenticated, graded, and had a well-documented history that sent collectors into a frenzy. Okay, now let's get practical. How do you know if you're holding a potential gold mine in your hand? Here are the steps you need to follow. Flip the coin and look for the small P mint mark on the front side near George Washington's ponytail. This shows it was minted in Philadelphia. Make sure the coin says 2003. Only coins from this specific year with the P mint mark are in question. Inspect for errors. Look closely for any abnormalities like double strikes, misplaced designs, or unusual metal tones. Use a magnifying glass to spot these details. If you think you've found something special, consider getting the coin professionally graded by a service like PCGS or NGC. They'll confirm its authenticity and assign it a grade, which can drastically affect its value. Visual, PCGS certification process. Now, let's talk money. The $8.3 million price tag was for an ultra-rare version of the 2003 P. Washington quarter sold at a high-end auction. But not every coin is going to fetch that much. If you have a high-grade or error coin, you could still be sitting on thousands or even millions of dollars. So it's worth getting it checked. Found a rare 2003 P. quarter? Here's what to do next. End it to a trusted coin grading service like PCGS or NGC. Choose a selling platform. You can sell your coin at high-profile auctions like Heritage Auctions or online marketplaces like eBay. Just be sure to set a reserved price. Network with collectors. Join coin forums and local numismatic groups. Serious collectors are always on the hunt for rare finds like this. So, there you have it the incredible story of the 2003 P. Washington quarter that could change your life. Don't forget to check your pockets, jars, and drawers. You never know where a treasure might be hiding. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let us know in the comments if you've ever come across a rare coin. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tips on turning your everyday finds into extraordinary fortunes. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of coins to talk about a Washington quarter from 2004 that's rumored to be worth a jaw-dropping $8.4 million. Yes, you heard that right. Could this be hiding in your collection? Stick around to find out. First, let's get to know the 2004 D. Washington quarter. Minted in Denver, this quarter was part of the popular state quarters program. In 2004, the state of Michigan was featured, and millions of these coins were produced. Al, this quarter was designed by the legendary sculptor John Flanagan. His rendition of George Washington has graced our quarters since 1932. But what makes a regular pocket change coin worth millions? Let's break it down. Oh, where does this $8.4 million story come from? In some cases, Coins can achieve astronomical values due to a variety of factors, such as errors. Coins with rare minting errors, like double dies or off-center strikes, can fetch huge sums, 
provenance. Coins with an incredible backstory or historical significance can drive up value. Condition. A coin in pristine, uncirculated condition is always more desirable to collectors. However, as of now, there's no verified auction where a 2004 D Washington quarter has sold for $8.4 million. So what could explain this wild number? Let's focus on the facts. High mintage. Over 231,000,004 D Washington quarters were produced, making this a fairly common coin. Errors to look for. While no major errors have been widely reported for this specific year, it's always good to inspect your coin for anomalies like double-struck images, die cracks, or misalignment marks. But if you're wondering about the actual market value, most 2004 D quarters are worth their face value, 25 cents. Coins in mint condition might sell for a few dollars to collectors, but $8.4 million. That remains unsubstantiated. If you think your 2004 D quarter is special, here's how to check its worth. Examine the coin's condition. Look for wear and tear. Coins in mint or near mint condition are more valuable. Check for errors. Use a magnifying glass to inspect for minting mistakes. Even minor errors can significantly boost a coin's value. Get a professional appraisal. If you suspect you have something extraordinary, consult a coin grading service like PCGS or NGC for a professional opinion. Scene 5. Current market value so, what's the real value of a 2004 D quarter? As of now, typical coins sell for, circulated condition, 25 cents to $0.50 uncirculated condition, $2 to $1.10, there's no evidence of any 2004 D quarter fetching $8.4 million. Most of the buzz likely comes from rumors or misinformation. But don't be discouraged. Rare coins can still be found in circulation, and every collector dreams of hitting the jackpot. Even if your 2004 D quarter isn't worth millions, coin collecting is a rewarding hobby. It teaches us history, art, and the value of patience. Who knows? The next time you check your pocket change, you might just strike gold, or in this case, silver. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more coin tips and fascinating stories from the numismatic world. And remember, always check your change. You never know what treasure you might find. See you next time. We're diving into one of the hottest and most debated coins in the numismatic world, the 2005 D. Washington Quarter. There are rumors flying around that this coin has fetched an astronomical $8.5 million on the market. Could this be true? And if so, how can you cash in? Let's break it all down. First, a little history. The 2005 Washington Quarter was part of the U.S. Mint State Quarters program. The D mint mark on this coin indicates it was minted in Denver, Colorado. These quarters feature President George Washington on the obverse and, depending on the design, different state-related imagery on the reverse. In 2005, the U.S. Mint released state quarters for Kansas, Minnesota, West Virginia, California, and Oregon. These are all beautiful designs. But what makes some of these coins incredibly valuable is not the design itself. It's the errors or rare features found on certain quarters. Before we dive into the $8.5 million claim, let's talk about what makes a coin valuable. There are four main factors. One condition and grading. Coins in pristine, uncirculated condition are worth much more than heavily circulated ones. Collectors see coins graded MS65 or higher by professional grading companies like PCGS or NGC.2 mint errors. Coins with minting errors, such as double dies, off-center strikes, or die clashes, can fetch huge sums 0.3 rarity. The fewer coins available with a certain feature or error, the more valuable they become 0.4 demand if collectors are clamoring for a particular coin. Prices can skyrocket. 
So does the 2005 D Washington quarter tick any of these boxes? Let's find out. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Is there really a 2005 D Washington quarter worth $8.50 million? From what we know, no standard issue 2005 D quarter has been sold for anything close to this amount. However, there are specific scenarios that could make a coin from this year skyrocket in value. Error coins, rare minting errors, like a double die or off-metal strikes, can create one-of-a-kind coins that collectors are willing to pay millions for. Could the $8.5 million rumor stem from one of these? Special provenance. If a coin has historical significance, such as being part of a famous collection, it might command a premium price. So far, the $8.5 million figure seems more like speculation or an internet myth. But don't worry, your 2005 D quarter could still be valuable under the right circumstances. To find out if your 2005 D Washington quarter is worth more than face value, here's what to do. 1. Inspect for errors. Look closely for doubling, die cracks, or any other anomalies. You might need a magnifying glass or a USB microscope for this point to check the condition. If your coin looks flawless, it could have a higher grade, increasing its value significantly. Point three, research recent sales. Search auction sites like eBay or Heritage Auctions to see what similar coins are selling for point four. Get it professionally graded. A third-party grading service can give your coin an official grade and increase buyer confidence. Even if your coin isn't worth millions, it could still fetch $10, $50, or even $100 depending on its features. As of today, most 2005 D Washington quarters sell for around $0.25 cents to $5 unless they have significant errors or are in top-tier condition. Coins graded MS68 or higher can sell for $500 to $1,000. However, Extraordinary coins with rare features have the potential to break records. So keep your eyes peeled and don't dismiss your pocket change too quickly. So, is there really a 2005 D Washington quarter worth $8.5 million? For now, it seems unlikely, but coin collecting is full of surprises. With patience and a keen eye, you could discover a hidden gem in your pocket change. If you enjoyed today's video, Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more coin collecting tips and news. And don't forget to share your favorite finds in the comments below. We'd love to hear about them. Thanks for watching and happy hunting. Have you ever checked your pocket change and wondered if you might be holding on to something worth a fortune? Well, in today's video, we're diving into one of the most fascinating coins in modern U.S. history the 2007 P. Washington Quarter. Why is it making headlines for being worth a staggering $8.6 million? Let's find out. The Washington Quarter has been a staple of American currency since 1932, originally introduced to commemorate George Washington's 200th birthday. Fast forward to 2007, this was the year the U.S. Mint produced a special series of quarters honoring the states. However, one particular 2007 P. Philadelphia Mint Washington Quarter has captured the spotlight, and for all the right reasons. So what makes this coin so special? And why is its market value skyrocketing to the tune of $8.6 million? Well, there's more to this story than meets the eye. Let's break it down. While millions of 2007 quarters were struck at the Philadelphia Mint, this specific quarter is considered one of a kind due to an extremely rare minting error. Coin experts believe this coin may have been struck using a highly experimental or altered die, which resulted in unusual characteristics. Here's what to look for. Double strikes. Coins struck twice or more. Leaving overlapping designs. Off-center errors. The design might be shifted or partially missing. Clipped planchet. A piece of the coin may be missing due to minting irregularities, die breaks or cuds, raised bumps caused by cracks in the minting die. Alright, here's the kicker. In 2023, 
during an exclusive auction, one particular 2007P Washington quarter was authenticated by professional grading services as being one of the rarest mint error coins ever discovered. The final bid? A jaw-dropping $8.6 million. Why so much? It all comes down to rarity, condition, and demand. Coin collectors and investors are always on the hunt for unique items like this. With this quarter being a verified mint error, its value skyrocketed because there's literally no other coin exactly like it. Now here's the exciting part. You might be sitting on a small fortune without even realizing it. Here's how to check if your 2007P quarter is worth big bucks. Inspect the mint mark. The P will indicate it was minted in Philadelphia. Look for errors. Use a magnifying glass to examine your coin for off-center strikes, double designs, or cracks in the metal. Weigh the coin. A typical quarter should weigh 5.67 grams. If it's significantly off, that could indicate a minting error. Get it graded. If you suspect you have something special, send it to a grading service like PCGS or NGC for professional authentication. Remember, a graded coin can fetch a far higher price at auction compared to an ungraded one. So, what's the current market value for these rare 2007 quarters? While only one is known to have sold for $8.6 million, even more common error quarters from this year can fetch anywhere from $500 to $10,000, depending on their condition. That's still a massive return on a 25 cent coin. If you're looking to sell, consider reaching out to major auction houses like Heritage Auctions or consulting local coin dealers for an appraisal. Who knew a simple Washington quarter could be worth millions? So what are you waiting for? Check your coins, inspect your pocket change, and maybe you'll be the next lucky collector to uncover a hidden gem. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on more coin collecting tips. Let us know in the comments, what's the most valuable coin you've ever found? Thanks for watching and happy hunting. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 2009 P District of Columbia, Washington quarter, a coin surrounded by mystery, rarity, and record-breaking value. So, grab your magnifying glasses, and let's uncover the truth about this coin. First, let's start with the basics. The 2009 P District of Columbia Washington Quarter was part of the U.S. Mint's District of Columbia and U.S. Territories Quarters Program. This program followed the highly popular 50 State Quarters series. The coin features Duke Ellington, the legendary jazz musician, seated at a piano alongside the words Justice for All. But what makes this specific coin so special? To the untrained eye, it might look like just another quarter in circulation. However, there's a twist. A specific batch of these coins minted in Philadelphia has become one of the most sought-after treasures in the coin-collecting world. And one of these coins recently made headlines with an astronomical market value of $8.6 million. Let's break down why. Rarity is one of the biggest factors in determining a coin's value. While millions of District of Columbia quarters were minted, what sets the 2009 P apart is its unique error. Some coins from this mint batch show incredible and rare minting mistakes, including misaligned dies, double die errors, and other anomalies. I in the world of numismatics, that's the study or collection of currency. Such errors make a coin highly collectible. These errors are like the fingerprint of the coin, making each one truly unique and driving its value through the roof. Now let's talk money. You're probably wondering, why would anyone pay $8.6 million for a quarter? Well, there are a few reasons. The 2009 P quarter marks the transition between the 50 state quarters program and the America, the beautiful series. It represents a turning point in U.S. coin history. Coins with errors, like the 2009P, are exceedingly rare. Only a handful of these error coins have ever been authenticated by grading agencies, 
like PCGS or NGC. There's intense competition among elite coin collectors to own the most valuable and rare pieces of American coinage. These collectors are willing to pay millions to secure one of a kind items for their collections. So, how did we arrive at that eye popping $8.6 million valuation? A recent auction brought this coin into the spotlight when a pristine example with a verified error sold for the record breaking amount. Experts believe the market for rare coins is hotter than ever, with collectors driving up prices to historic levels. But keep in mind, the value depends on factors like the coin's condition, error type, and grading. Coin certified as MS65 or higher by PCGS or NGC fetch the highest prices, especially when their provenance, that's the coin's history, is well documented. Now, let's talk about how you can spot a potential fortune in your pocket change. If you have a 2009 P District of Columbia quarter, here's what you should do. Look for doubling on the text, misalignments, or any unusual markings. Errors can dramatically increase the coin's value. Get the coin graded. Send your coin to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. They'll evaluate its condition and assign it a grade. A higher grade equals a higher value. Do your research. Compare your coin to known examples of the rare 2009 P error coins. Websites, forums, and guides can help. Consult an expert. If you think you've hit the jackpot, reach out to a numismatist or a reputable coin dealer for an appraisal. Better safe than sorry. Rare coins like the 2009 P District of Columbia Washington Quarter remind us that history is everywhere, even in the change we carry in our pockets. While not every coin is worth millions, every coin has a story to tell. Who knows? The next time you check your spare change, you might just discover your own piece of numismatic history. Have you ever come across a rare coin in your collection or change? Let us know in the comments! And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the fascinating world of rare coins, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another treasure hunting adventure. Thanks for watching and happy collecting!